story. Rob and Amanda, we all know the line, the show must go on, but for a teacher in Falmouth and her 46 students, they're not just talking that sentiment, they're living it. And, and how, how do we keep our balance? Keep our balance. That yes, second I can tell. tell you in one word. In one word. Tradition. The Falmouth Theater Company always ends the year with a spring musical. The musical is sort of a fun little like tap to your whole high school theater experience. It's a tradition. Finding out that we, we may not have done the musical in any capacity was a little disheartening. It's definitely rough. It's certainly disappointing to not have those milestone moments that we've been looking forward to for several years. When school sends students home in March, everyone feels like a part of their spring or part of this time of the year was taken away from them. No one knew how long it would last. I gathered the cast together. Least of all, Falmouth theater teacher, Dee Dee Waite. They handed out their scripts and scores and said, I don't know what's going to happen. None of us know what's going to happen. And it's very possible we'll start rehearsing a show we can't ever perform. Are you guys in? Her students didn't know what to think, but they trusted their teacher. Dee Dee knows how to get a show made, she knows how to put it together, and she knows how to make it good. Once she has a vision in mind, she's gonna go through with it. I couldn't I couldn't see them hear me say, we're, we're canceling this. So she immediately started figuring out how we're gonna work around this whole thing. She's gonna make this happen, even if we have to come back from college next year and redo a high school show. I couldn't quite let go. <laughs> Many in the cast, like Nellie Ryan, have been working with Dee Dee since fourth or fifth grade. You can't really give up on it at this point. The actors that we have are are willing to to do whatever they can. It really is like a the show must go on kind of moment. I personally, and my children would tell you this, am a very, very, very traditional person. I have a screen-free classroom. The kids know I'm sort of anti-screen. Ironic that all the rehearsals for Falmouth's musical are now only through screens. Put them on my head by the stove, foolish girl. Where's Hava? She's in the barn milking. A fiddler on the, on the roof. Sounds, sounds crazy, crazy no. No. Wrangling 46 students to rehearse a play online sounds crazy, no? I'm always the eternal optimist, and I always hope that if we just keep working together, we can find a way to get it done. Let's get that first line right, because it's really tough. I will, but I'm afraid. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. What were you and he talking about? Oh, nothing. We were just talking, Papa. This is a, such a blessing that Papa, this happened to happen tonight, in this strange no age of technology where we could use it to its best advantage. Students meet several times a week in small groups. Mama, Yenta's coming. She's down the road. Maybe she's finally found a good match for you, Zaitl. From your mouth to God's ears. Practicing scenes and songs. Matchmaker, matchmaker, make me a match. Find me a find, catch me a catch. I'm playing Golda, who's Tevia's wife. I'll be playing Zaitl, who is Tevia's oldest daughter. Hava, she Prince Hannah, Bielke. I'm playing Hoddle. The sisters, we're just really meshing well together. Find me a find, catch me a catch. Freshmen, sophomores, juniors, and seniors make up the sisters group. We had that sense of community at school and having it having us like not be at school anymore we kind of wanted to keep that like togetherness somehow the girls have bonded hava did you finish milking yes mama and are finding balance in this crazy time of life through acting like sisters they've gone from just being like acquaintances and people who have helped me when i came to high school to like real friends now the rehearsals are going surprisingly well there's a little bit of um, a delay oh. has an issue when people sing they've been Honestly, a lot better than I thought. I think every rehearsal we've done is getting better and better. We've all talked about the fact that we start to actually see scenes come to life, even though people are sitting in chairs behind, you know, looking at each other like this. At the end of the school year, the cast is hoping to perform. Having an audience right now doesn't look realistic. Hopefully in June, if like the, the virus and everything is at least a little bit better, we're hoping that we'll be able to go back to the school or just somewhere in a communal space where we can try to film some of the scenes. Even if it's not the best show we've ever done, I think it's gonna be a really nice memory to look back on and a video that we can show in the future and just have to remember our senior year. Ever the eternal optimist, Dee Dee is convinced the cast will pull it off. I'm hoping that in the end we do end up with something that brings some magic and some closure for them and some closure for all of us.
and that we have a really good production because we have a pretty high standard. But no matter what happens, whether we do it on the stage, whether we do it in a parking lot, whether we get everyone in a video call and just read the show one time while screen recording it, we're going to have something. The cast is accentuating the positive. It's important to think about the other three and a half years that we had and how incredible th those moments were. And At least I have like a senior year that no one else has. Here I'll have a good story about how I spent my senior year in quarantine. Learning not to take things for granted. Everybody suddenly realizes how much they need the people around them, even the ones that sort of irritate them. Trying to find balance, just like the determined characters they are portraying. I think it's a nice thing to look forward to. Like every part, um, every day, you have about an hour of time where you get to see your friends and work together on something that we've all been working together on for a long time. And it's just reassuring and nice to still have that in your life. Definitely, we all support each other, especially through stuff like this. So it's at least nice to have sort of a community that's all kind of going through the same thing to kind of keep you up. As they try to maintain old traditions in a new way. Hado, hado, have I made a match for you? We're going to get something out of this, and it may not be what we're used to. We may not be able to put it on the stage as we would have envisioned or hoped, but we'll be able to make something. And whatever that may be, it's going to be ours. Did you